How's it going every day? Just another video really about the Friedler. So um, basically at the end of the last video we just left off with doing the engine in the back end. So Alice has been in doing a couple of things and I've just came and got a couple more things done on it. So I'll just quickly show you what he's been doing now. So you can see Alice has started mocking up all the fuel pipes. We have two pipes in there and we're also going to just have two power steering pipes through there. And power steering inside the car he's also done the wiring and coils is all mounted up. And just yesterday I quickly done the exhaust, obviously we were talking in the video before about what we were going to do with the screamer pipe, so we ended up, I just put that into the downpipe, just quite, quite simple really. Um, and just been doing a couple of things that we've even done, like the pull cords, and I think Alice was just in the middle of doing the fire extinguisher, and that inside, he's just going to get that mounted and get the fuel lines finished off inside. That's just the wiring that he started doing, so I'm just going to quickly just fit the seat mount, just put the seat up there. We've got to fit that aluminium check plate that needs trimmed a bit just for the cage on that side. And then I think we'll be doing pedal box and stuff. So, just went and grabbed the front hubs that we're going to be using. They're obviously all need queen, stripped down, queen, painted, whatever, but it's um, Four six pots with 350mm discs, with the coil overs and just rose jointed track control arms. The bushes will be coming out and we've got rose jointed um, compression struts as well to be going on. So, Arthur's finally decided what box we're putting in. And he's got a, well, he'll probably, he can describe it, what box you got. Uh, same six speed sequential. I need to start again, I was out of focus. Where you go? Where you go? We have a Sains 6 speed sequential going in. And a twin plate paddle clutch. And a light and fly gear. Turns out the box is a monster, so we've had to um, make, a, make a wee adjustment to the tunnel. So hopefully it'll fit in this time. So that's the box, and we've had to obviously plate up two bits from the tunnel just because of the size of the box, and we've got a big grommet to go on the top there. And then obviously you've just got your shifter back here. Obviously we've just screwed. Well, it's actually torques that are holding them down. That's just so if we ever want to go back to an H pattern, we can just to fit in the certain regs. So that's that all done and Alistair's just in the middle of doing fuel pipes and all that. And I made a mount and all that yesterday for the box, I'll show you that in two seconds, it's all just been painted. So as you can see everything that's gone on the cars have been painted. Um, got a gearbox mount there, arms and the rest of the stuff. So, that's probably all we're going to do now to the motor. Um, we've got a prop motor that coming out tomorrow or the next day, so the next video will probably be doing that and getting our suspension on and getting it rolling. So, hope you have enjoyed it and thanks for watching.